In this week's episode of Exploring Photography, I'll tell you how you can optimize the performance of Lightroom CC by turning off an optimization feature and we'll look at the new import dialog. I like it, a lot of people don't. We'll let you decide what you think. Adorama TV presents Exploring Photography with Mark Wallace. Hi everybody, welcome to another episode of Exploring Photography right here on Adorama TV. I'm Mark Wallace. Well, I'm hanging out here in a hotel lobby. I'm on my way from uh, Madrid, Spain to India, and I was doing some work in Lightroom and I started to think about all of the emails and comments and posts I've seen on Facebook and Twitter about the performance issues of Lightroom. Now, all of this comes from the fact that Lightroom, Adobe actually, has released some new versions of Lightroom recently, and a lot of people are complaining, saying that there are some performance issues that the new versions of Lightroom are actually slower than the old versions of Lightroom. Now, that's one thing. The other thing is Adobe has released a new import dialog and that's making some people shy away from updating their Lightroom altogether. So I wanted to talk about those two issues, two totally different things, performance issues and the new import dialog. So let's first talk about the performance issues. Now what happened around uh, April or May of this year Adobe released GPU acceleration. And what that means is that the uh, computer can now use that video card to accelerate and increase the performance of Lightroom. But what's happened on some machines, it's actually making it slower. Let me tell you why. When you use the GPU, the graphical processing unit, you have to actually take all of that data, the picture information from the CPU, that's the brains of your computer, you have to put that all over to the GPU. And that takes some time so that now the GPU can do some stuff. Then it has to come back and forth. And so there's some overhead involved. Now what happens on an older computer or a computer that doesn't have really a high resolution display or a fancy GPU, that overhead actually slows things down and it actually is faster if you turn GPU acceleration off. The GPU acceleration is really for those users that have high resolution displays, those uh, 4K displays or if you have a retina display. If you don't, it's probably not going to help you out and the good news is you can turn that on and off to see if your performance increases really easily. So let's hop into Lightroom really quickly and I'll show you how to turn off your GPU acceleration to see if that might increase your performance. All right, if you're having those performance issues, remember this is only uh, specific to the develop module, specifically things zooming in, zooming out, panning around on an image, using the tone sliders, the present sliders, those types of things. If you're having issues there, then what you probably need to do is shut off that GPU acceleration. So it's pretty simple to do that. Just go to your preferences. I'll go to Lightroom preferences. And then on my performance right here on this performance tab, I'll click on that. And then you can see right here, this is the use graphics processor. Uncheck that. And that's going to fix those performance issues for you because that overhead goes away. So it's pretty simple. If you're having issues, just uncheck that. All right, well, that's GPU acceleration. It's up to you. Turn that on, turn it off to see if it works. The other thing that people are talking a lot about is the new import dialog. Now, this happened because Adobe got a lot of feedback from new users saying that importing photos was just confusing. They weren't sure if the photos came in or where they went. And so Adobe said, hey, enough is enough. Let's start from scratch and redesign the entire thing. Now, people that have been using Lightroom for a long time have looked at this and said, ah, oh, it's horrible. I don't like it. Make it go away. But the news is it's not going away. The new import dialog is going to stick around forever. And the thing is, if you've been waiting and hesitating to update, uh, update your Lightroom because of this new import dialog, I think you should go ahead and update because, in my opinion, it's a pretty good import dialog. I think it has most of the stuff the old dialog had. It's just laid out a little bit differently. It's a lot easier to use, in my opinion. So here's a little Look at that import dialog. Let's take a look at the new import dialog. I'll just click import here. Now in the past everything was on one screen. Now it's divided into two separate screens, two separate steps. The first step is selecting the photos that you want to import. Now the Lightroom will actually go and scan your hard drive and look for some common folders where you might have pictures that need to be imported into Lightroom. Your pictures folder on your desktop, places like that. And so those will show up. Or you can also browse your computer to go to a specific file or folder if you need to. And then of course, if you have your camera connected, that will show up. I've got a card plugged in, also an external hard drive. So you can go to any of those places. It's really simple to select where the photos are coming from. So in this instance, I'm going to select this card here. 
And the first thing that's going to happen is you'll see everything shows up. And this is a much simplified interface. So you're asking, where are the destination folders and where are the source folders? Well, those are sort of hidden away. And so to get to those, you could just say import these photos. You don't want to do that because you haven't said where they're going to go. Um, so over here, there's this little gear. Once you kick that out, this little side panel shows up. And now here are some of those things that you're familiar with. Things like the destination, where you want your photos to go. And if you want an import preset or a develop preset or build the previews, smart previews, etc. Those are all there. Some things are missing. Specifically, uh, file handling now has copy and add. Move has been removed. It's no longer a feature. And the other feature that's uh, most notably, notably missing is the checkbox that will automatically eject your card when your import is finished. That has been removed. There's a lot of people asking for Adobe to bring that back, myself included, but for now, it is gone. So to get to the destination, you'll notice that there aren't all those folders and names down here that used to be down there. So now it's just like any other application where you want to store your images. You just select and then you go to the folder that you want to store your images in. So I'm going to say in my photos folder. So I'm going to hit cancel because it's already there by default. And then you can put that into a subfolder. For this, I want to put these in the Portugal subfolder because I'm in Portugal right now. You can organize these into one folder. You can organize them by date, just like you had before. So this should be pretty familiar to those of us that have used Lightroom for a while. The other thing here is you can now add these to a collection on import that's sort of tucked away underneath there. It's really sort of nice. And then you can also add copyright information. So when you click that, you can add in your copyright 2015 Mark Wallace if I want to do that. Um, also, you can have your keywords added right here. So I can uh, put in here bus ride because this was a fun bus ride or whatever it is that you want to keyword your images with. All the rest of this stuff I think is pretty self-explanatory for those of us who have been using Lightroom for a while. The other thing that's hidden away over here is this little folder right here. When you click that, now you can see all of those source files. So if you didn't maybe get it right on this screen that was previous to this, selecting which files you wanted to import. You can always do that here. You can go in and figure out which device you want to use or which folder, or you can just browse the computer and it works just like it did before. Um, but by default, that is hidden. Once all that's done, then you can just click the import and all of your photos, photos are going to be imported and everything else works just like it did in previous versions of Lightroom. All right, well, I think you can see that the new import dialog is much simpler. It's pretty easy to use. Yeah, it's going to take a little time to get used to it, but I think once Adobe restores some of those features that are missing, specifically ejecting your card once the import is complete, and maybe that move feature and some other things, we'll be right back where we were, and we'll start to love the software just like we used to. And I think for new users, it's actually better. I know a lot of people don't agree with me on that. In fact, most people don't, but I think it's going to be good for new users because it's much simpler. Well, thanks so much for joining me for this episode of Exploring Photography. Don't forget to check out the Adorama Learning Center. We've got a ton of videos and articles and things that you can check out to learn how to use Lightroom. You can check out all the reviews on latest software and hard drives and all that kind of stuff as well. So don't uh, forget to check out the Adorama Learning Center. And also, don't forget to subscribe to Adorama TV. It's absolutely free. And that way, you don't miss a single episode. There's just so much free and amazing content you don't want to miss out. So click the subscribe button and do that right now. Well, thanks again. I will see you again next time. Do you want great looking prints at low cost? Be sure to visit our easy to use online printing service. Adorama Pix has professionals who treat your images with the utmost care that you can count on. For a quick turnaround on photos, cards, or albums, use adoramapix.com.